So in the last video we were discussing this problem wherein uh, a sorted array is given to us and we have to find out all the duplicate values within the sorted array. Okay, so this is one problem which is related to the similar problem statement wherein the duplicate values are present in an array and we need to find out, uh, basically we need to remove all the duplicate values which are present in the array, right? So the constraints are given to us within the range of 10 to the power 5 and a value of an integer which is present in the array can lie from 1 to 10 to the power 9 right so yeah let's try to solve it using two pointers now so i'll go and submit my code here let's go to c plus plus 40 and let's start writing the code So we have imported the library using this now. So the input is currently given in such a way, like we need to take up the inputs. Let me open the problem statement in another window again. So the input is, first of all, we are given the number of values present in the array and then the values one by one, the value which is present, right? So what we do, first of all, let us create a container for storing these values. Okay, I'm sorry. Yeah, so we will create a container here. We will, you can use anything, but I'll use a vector here as a container to store these values. And let's define a variable n just to take in the number of values which are present inside the array. Now we have the n, so maybe we can run a for loop and get all the values which are given in the input. So I'll just define one more variable here, temp, which will help me take up the input and then we will push back temp inside the vector right so once we push it now the vector is ready now what we need to do let us do some some semantic validation on the data so let's suppose if only one value is present it's going to be unique in nature right also if no values is present then we'll print nothing so for this purpose i'll first of all create a helper function here which will help me print all the values. So I'll create a print array helper function, which will take a vector as an input. And it will also take the number of values which you need to print inside this array, right? So what we can do, we can just run a loop and print all the values which are present inside this array. So and we also need to give a space in between the values as per the format of the output right so we can print all the values here this is my helper function which is so this is going to print the first 10 values in an array right now since we have taken the input here let us now start working on the logic so according to the logic, if the number of values in the array is equal equal to 0 or it is equal equal to 1, then we don't need to do anything. What we do is we will just print the array as it is. So we will just pass v comma n and we will return 0. Right. So this is basically my is going to my base condition right now we have the base condition so what we need to do is now we need to go through the array and for going through the array we will keep two different pointers so let's suppose p1 is my pointer to mark the all unique values Right, and I will keep another pointer which is P2 which is going to start from 1 and it will be my running pointer. Right, so we will have two different values P1 and P2. P1 is going to mark all my unique values until which like uh, until the array portion of the array wherein we have the unique values and P2 will mark 
the running pointer right now we just need to run a loop so the loop will be running on p2 since p2 is going fast than p1 so we will go p2 while p2 is less than n we will keep running this loop and what we need to do inside this loop is if the values are equal right so we will first check if v1 of v of p1 is equal to v of p2 then what we need to do we will just increment p2 right we don't need to swap anything but if they are not equal then what we will do we will actually swap v of p1 comma v of p2 now we need to swap with uh, the next element of p1 so first of all we need to increment p1 by 1 here and we will increment p2 so p2 will also be increased right so this will do this will actually swap p2 the current element and p2 with the next element of p1 and increment both p1 and p2 right so once we have this value what we need to do is we will just keep doing like this and towards the end we will print the array until which point I'll print the array until p1 plus 1 because p1 is marking the sorted portion sorry the unique portion of the array and then I'll just return 0 okay so yeah let us just verify our answer again so we have this helper function which is printing all the elements inside the array uh, we will have a variable n which will tell me to what point I need to print the array this will print up all the first n elements of an array now in the main function we will have a container a vector which will actually take up all the inputs uh, n is storing all the value number of values which are present inside my container so this portion of code will tell me how many like this will input all the values and put them into a container then there is a semantic validation wherein we need to check if the number of elements are 0 or 1 if that's the case we will only print one element or if it is 0 we will print nothing and return 0 then the main logic consists of creating two different pointers p1 and p2 p1 is basically the pointer which is uh, marking all the unique values from the starting of the array and p2 is my running pointer right so what we do we actually run a loop on p2 p2 will keep on incrementing uh, if the values are equal then we do nothing we just increment p2 but if the values are not equal then we make a swap with p1 plus 1 and p2 and increment both p1 and p2 right and towards the end we will print our array p1 plus 1 until p1 plus 1 element right now let's try to run this let's select a judge and try to run this code So okay we have an error here what's the error let us just see the error okay there is an error on this end rest everything looks fine to me by now let's try to run this again so it's taking some time let's just wait for another second try to refresh the page and yeah so we got all the correct tests we have passed all the test cases so here's the code for this you can have a look at this code again and yeah so in the next video we are going to discuss uh, the types of problem which we will face or uh, which we can solve via two pointers thank you